In this video, we will create a class to hold and operate on our data objects. One of the basic principles or patterns of programming is to organize your application into layers that perform similar activities. This is called a service-oriented architecture. This is one of many ways to design software, but the main goal of using something like a service-oriented architecture is to minimize the impact of change. The theory being that a major change to part of your application should only affect the layer to which that change belongs. Now to put that into context with our application, all of our data classes represent one layer of our application. We will now need to write a class to create, access, and process that data. We will do so in a way that stores all of our application objects into array lists, which are stored in memory. That means that our data will only exist as long as we keep the application running. But this is fine for the purpose of this course, which is to learn the basics of the Java language. Eventually, we may want to store our data permanently, also called persisting our data. When we do that, it would be ideal if we could just change this one class that we are about to write instead of having to rewrite all of our data classes as well. That is the benefit we will get by using a service-oriented architecture. So with that background, let's start to build our database class to organize our data and perform the business logic governed by our application requirements. The class will look a lot like a data class, but it will have additional methods that do more than just get and set values. And we will use the test-driven development methodology to build our class and unit test. Since our class is called database, let's create a database unit test. We'll just come down here to our package, right-click, choose New, Other, and then create a JUnit test case. We'll call our test case database test and then click finish. So here is our unit test class with our first test pre-configured for us. We want this test to test the constructor of the database class. So let's rename the test and call it test database. And to test the constructor, we'll first have the test create a new object based on the database class. So we'll be creating a type of database. We'll call that database object test DB, and we'll set it equal to a new database. Now I would like to pass an argument so that we can use quick fix to build the constructor. We saw how that worked in a previous video. So I'll just pass in an integer of one. So with that statement, quick fix will allow us to create the database class and its constructor. We'll just hover over database, we'll create the class, and we'll want to make sure that the new class goes into our SRC folder with our other classes. Otherwise, everything else is fine. So here is our database class. Then I'll come back to the test and create the constructor. So our constructor will be a public method. It will be called database. And you can see that it has a parameter of int. This was all made possible by passing that integer in as an argument, but I don't really want the constructor to have a parameter. So I'll just delete that here, save it, and then go back to the test and delete it here as well. Just by way of review, if I hadn't passed anything in, there wouldn't have been a quick fix option to create a constructor. So there is the beginnings of our class and unit test. In our next video, we'll continue on by creating the fields and the rest of the methods.